you guys, this is Dan from Torque. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing in my workouts the past probably six to eight months since I tore my pec and since I'm not training for powerlifting. are pretty similar. Um, I'm always going to start with something to get my elbows warmed up, my shoulders, and then whatever muscle group I'm going to be training. So for example, for upper body today, if I'm going to be doing a bench press workout when I was powerlifting, I would be doing dumbbells, I'd be doing cable flies and all that to warm up. And I'm still doing the same thing now, even though I'm not training the bench press uh, specifically. I'm doing more of like a body part split where I'm doing chest, arms, and probably some shoulders today, okay? So, like I said, I'm always gonna take a tricep extension, so something like this, where I'm doing 10 to 15 reps, okay? Trying to get blood flow through my elbows, my triceps, my forearms. From there, I'm gonna go into a bicep exercise. You always want to start out light so you can get the motion down, get the muscle contracting strong. I've already done a couple sets, so this one's going to be a little bit heavier. This would be my third or fourth set, and by this point, I'm actually treating it like a work set and not so much of a warm up. Same thing, 10 to 15 reps. During my warm ups, I'm always keeping my hoodie on. I'm trying to get my body temperature up, get a bit of a sweat going, so that when I get into my main movement, whatever that might be for the day, I'm ready to go, okay? So next, I'm gonna go into a shoulder raise. You can either do these with dumbbell or machine or dumbbells. I prefer to do it with the machine while I'm warming up. Same thing, 10 to 15. Because today is going to be chest, I'm going to go into the pec deck machine, but you could also do something like a cable fly or you could do dumbbell flies or push-ups, something to get your pecs going, okay? I prefer pec deck machine, same thing, 10 to 15 reps. And then the last thing <coughs> I'm gonna do, I personally like warming up my back whenever I'm doing a chest or an upper body workout. So I'm gonna go straight into a lat pull down. Doesn't matter what grip you use, this was already on here when I got here. So I use this. So that basically is the warm up. Regardless if I'm doing a powerlifting workout or more of a bodybuilding style workout, uh, you're gonna do four sets, 10 to 15 reps on each exercise. And so after you've done your, your four sets, you got a good pump going, the blood's flowing, you go straight into the workout. Today, even though I'm not doing powerlifting, I'm gonna do bench press as my main movement. You'll see when I do the bench press, I'm gonna be using a pad. I tore my pec about, I guess, a year ago uh, this week. So when I'm training now, I'm not going all the way to my chest. The only time I'm gonna go to my chest is if I'm in a powerlifting meet. Because of the, the damage to my pec, I'm just gonna stop 
that two to three inches above to minimize my risk of re-tearing it. Okay, so let's go. So now we're, we're benching. And I think the biggest difference between a powerlifting workout and a bodybuilding workout per se will be your rep ranges. So right now training for body composition, I'm gonna be doing more reps and I'm gonna be doing supersets as well. So I'll superset the bench press with some sort of curl or some sort of arm exercise. Um, I'm using this, as I mentioned, my back to reduce the range of motion. This will take off about two inches, okay? So if you have any sort of pec injury or a shoulder injury where you get a lot of pain when you hit the bottom, you can try training with that for a couple weeks. Okay, you just snap it on there. And when you're doing your set, it stops the bar just below, or just at the point before your elbows go into that negative angle. It's gonna stop you in a, a very uh, safe, position I guess. Um, I'm still going to push the weight so I'm still going to try and go as heavy as I can so today that will probably be maybe 245 or 275 I'll try for 10 reps but like I said I'm not going to be hitting those one two or three rep maxes um, that's not my goal at the moment. If you'll notice too, my grip is pretty narrow. Now that I got this injury, any sort of wide grip really puts a lot of strain. I can feel it really pulling. So with a pec injury, typically I'd be about that wide. So that's gonna mean I'm gonna be using a lot more triceps rather than chest, which again is gonna be safer for an injury. now we're done benching that was the main movement we're gonna go into shoulder raises barbell curls and all the rest of our accessory work at this point the goal is just to get a pump supersetting everything get a good sweat going and uh, like I said today is chest shoulders and arms for every chest or shoulder exercise you're gonna do an arm exercise okay pair them up three to four sets of each one, maybe eight to 15 reps, depending on your weight, and uh, try to increase your weight every set.
that's a workout. Uh, as I mentioned, towards the end of the workout, you're going to superset everything, whether it's shoulder raises and triceps or chest flies and biceps. You want to focus on fast sets, okay, short rests in between. And uh, as I mentioned, 10 to 15 reps on everything, maybe two to four sets, and push yourself. Increase the weight each set uh, to a point where you can maintain good technique. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment or send me a message.